I can see the view. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna jump off. Am I gonna break the sound barrier? Oh. guys, me Andy G here, and we are going to learn how to uh, make a Roblox Tycoon. So let's begin. You should be in edit mode. Um, it's better for developers, I guess. Um, I really like it a lot, and you basically float around and do shit. And now we're going to uh, basically make a Tycoon. So you're going to need to download a model. It's called uh, Tycoon System. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, yeah, I'll put a link in the description for that model. So when you insert it, it looks a little weird. Um, and I'll show you how to do it. So you're going to get a couple scripts and a model called main. You're going to take the script, may, uh, money set up, and you're going to put it in the workspace. Then, under the reset, you don't really need to touch that. And simple instructions, I'll do. You don't really need to read it. But if you want to read it, if it will help more, go ahead. But I'm going to go to main config and income. The amount. It's basically the amount you want the money thing to give you in a certain amount of time. I'll make it 1,000. Increase by, basically I want to increase by 5,000 every time I increase my income, which is the button basically like, you know how people have the conveyor belts and then like the upgrade conveyors? That's basically what that is. Uh, increase cost by, um, it's gonna 1,000. And maximum increase time is going to make 50. So that's basically it. Um, what increased cost is, is that how many, how much money it would cost to increase your income each time. And the max increase is um, how many times you can actually increase your income in general. So after that, um, tycoon name, I'm going to make it Swaggeroni. Tycoon. So after that, you don't need to touch. You don't need to touch anything except for buttons and upgrades. The button is basically your best friend in this. That's basically when you walk on something and something will appear. But how do you get to do that? I'll show you. I'm going to add a part, and this is the part that's going to appear. And it's going to be the tallest skyscraper in the world. I'm gonna make it really tall so tall that the bottom will eventually start to come up to the top which I don't know when that's going to be I really don't know when that's going to be I don't like it, I think I can just make it go on forever nope, never mind there we go, I'm making it that tall so what I'm going to call it is I'm going to call it call one actually I'm going to make it this part one now what this means is that it's going to have a call. Each button has a call. This is going to be call 1 because it's the first thing that is going to be popped up. Call 1 basically, um, it just links to two things. Um, and basically when you press the button that says call 1, the part that has call 1 will appear. So I'm going to copy and paste call 1 and place it in the part that I needed to um, go into. So this, for example, the skyscraper, which did in fact come off the ground. I'm going to move that down. There you go. So call, that's call one. Now what, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take call one and move it into the upgrades folder. Delete the example that's there. So now let me delete the script as well. I'm going to insert a model for call two. Basically this is a teleporter model that will take you up to the top of that skyscraper so you can jump off and have a good old time. I'm going to make a teleporter set two. I'm going to basically paste the call into here. Oh, actually this no. I'm gonna copy and paste the call into teleporter set two. This is gonna be code this is gonna be call two. Now I need to copy and paste the button as well. Copy paste. 
And this button, I'm going to move a little bit over here. Like that. And this button's going to be for the teleporter. I'm going to make this button call 2. Now, how much money do you want cost, you're probably asking. All you're going to do is I'm going to make the teleporter cost $500. And that is, uh, that's what you got to do. And I'm going to make it by teleporter. $500. And for the other button I have to do as well, I'm going to move, um, or by example it's called, I'm going to make this by skyscraper, and it's going to be $100. So let me make the cost $100. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it out here. Down. So now all I gotta do that all I gotta do is I have to take teleporter thingy. Well actually let me um move T2 because that's the teleporter you're gonna come out at. All the way to the top of the skyscraper. My dog's barking, yes, I think the whole neighborhood knows at this point. Damn, you can barely see the base plate anymore when you go down. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, get center. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna move T2 into um, the upgrades folder. Or uh, teleporter setup 2. Move it into the upgrades folder. And then I'm going to. Um, um, Basically, I'm going to take the tel buy teleport button and move it in the buttons folder. So I have two buttons. Everything seems ship shape. I must move down to check on everything. Um, I believe everything's fine. Don't edit the program script and don't edit the notice GUI. Um, and you're basically good. So let's go and test this baby out. Let's save. I'm gonna I'll play it. Server is ready to join the game. I'm here. You notice that there is really nothing there. Let me become the owner of the tycoon first. Okay. So this is my Disaster Man Squagaroonie and Cheese Tycoon. Looks really good, nice. And I get a thousand dollars every time this dollar sign goes into the green from the red. And now I can buy the skyscraper. Yes. Okay. I can buy a teleporter. Okay. Now you notice that they both spawned in. They go up there. I can see the view. It's beautiful. And I'm gonna jump off. Am I gonna break the sound barrier? Oh. Seems fun. And the increased income thing. Yes. So basically now I get 2,000 every time I uh, make money. You notice. See? So I can do it over and over. 50 times max. So that's really it guys. I really hope this turned out nice for you, and uh, like it did for me, so I'll see you guys later.